Hi everyone, my name is Eugenia Chisholm. I'm a senior Homeworks by Precept consultant representing BJU Press uh, homeschool materials. I have homeschooled for over 20 years and, and loved my journey. I want to just talk to you for just a minute about a forgotten subject. Um, the subject that I want to talk about is the vocabulary. I have the vocabulary here. Um, the vocabulary is an important part of our English program. The English program um, in 7th grade through 12th grade is actually made up of three parts. Um, it's not just grammar, it's not just writing. Grammar and writing come in one book and then you have your literature and that's where people usually stop. But there's another important part to the, uh, the English. The English would be including the vocabulary. This little book is very thin um, and people think, oh, I've got enough vocabulary. Um, I, I don't need that. This is only 15 lessons, only 15 lessons. What I used to do is I started it with my grammar for each child. They would start out grammar in the uh, fall and they would come alongside and use the vocabulary. The vocabulary is a totally independent study. There's no video lesson for it or teacher. Um, there is a teacher's book and a student book. They're both very thin books. Um, one lesson per week, about three days a week is all it takes. The first day they actually do two pages of uh, work and on you have your um, just introduction and your work and then on the second day you're actually going to do a um, review of what you've learned and in the index or the contents page I guess not the index but the contents page it's got words that are italicized what I did is I took those italicized words though those were my spelling words um, folks think that spelling's gone by the wayside once they hit seventh grade that's not the case we have spelling words they're just in italics in the contents page and then at um, they would also have a review in the back of the book for each section. There's reviews. So on the third day, I would have them do the review, and then I would give them the spelling words, which were the italicized words at the beginning of the uh, book. And uh, then I would combine the number wrong on that spelling test and the number wrong in the review to give them a grade. Um, that was very, very important part of their English education. Now, can you do more than one vocabulary book in a year? Certainly you could. You could do uh, two lessons per week and get done and still in 15 weeks. But 15 weeks, this goes by the wayside. You're finishing up your grammar. And then in January, the second semester, you bring in your literature and maybe finish up the grammar book you're in the easier chapters and you bring in your literature and you've got all your vocabulary once again in your literature book where it actually uh, most of them actually tell you what the meaning is and everything and you could use those vocabulary words as spelling words to continue the spelling activity um, spelling is very important but the vocabulary and knowing what the words mean to me is much more important and that the vocabulary actually takes those words apart and gives you the root words and tells you what that root means. So if that root word is put or that prefix or that suffix is put with another word, then by deduction sometimes within the sentence the student can actually deduct what the meaning of the word is. So I really feel like that vocabulary should not be a forgotten entity. I think you should remember to include vocabulary um, with your English program.